Am I Okay is a comedy about a woman pushed into the dating world after a long overdue confession. In this movie, we follow Lucy, played by Dakota Johnson. She drops the bomb on her best friend Jane, played by Sonoya Mizuno, that she is secretly gay, which comes as a shocker because she is 32 years old. Since Lucy is ambivalent about her sexuality and pretty introverted, Jane decides to try and help her by pushing her into the world of dating. So I was expecting this movie to be more about repressed or confused sexuality, but more than anything, it's about friendship. It's about two people who, despite having different personality types, put up with each other and endure the hardships life throws at them to build a lasting bond. Their friendship is as close as they come. Lucy and Jane tell each other just about everything and even sleep in the same bed sometimes. So when Jane shakes things up by making a big life decision that would likely affect their friendship, things start to get messy. This movie depicts some very common struggles that come with close friendships, the biggest one being the pressures that others put on us to be sexually experimental. This is usually done with the best intentions at heart. Your friends just want you to have the same fun experiences that they had. But this often overlooks a person's dating preferences and can pressure others into bad sexual experiences that could impact their approach to dating and relationships. It's always better to encourage sexual autonomy rather than experimentation or reservation, something that Jane hasn't quite figured out yet. This lack of understanding is the crux of the conflicts in this movie because Lucy explores her newly realized sexuality in a way that doesn't suit her. Lucy being 32 years old makes for an interesting story because normally we see that whole sexual awakening trope in modern coming of age stories. Seeing it with a character at this age, especially in congruence with her blatant social anxiety, adds a lot of complexity. There's an added pressure on Lucy's dating life because of the expectation that she should have already had this figured out by now. Her anxiety is her defining trait. Much of her dialogue lacks confidence, especially when she's talking to people who aren't Jane. She often makes jokes and statements that wouldn't be as awkward if she would just own them, but she clearly expresses discomfort out of the fear of being judged. So her anxiety is the main source of this movie's cringe comedy, but there is also plenty of offbeat comedy that occasionally breaks up the awkward tension that Lucy creates. I thought this movie was pretty funny. Not every joke lands, but they're mostly pretty tasteful and consistent, and some jokes really did get me good. There's plenty of humor that seems to hinge on relatability, obviously through anxiety, but also through Lucy and Jane's friendship. The awkward and intimate dialogue will likely resonate with viewers who also have a friendship where they can just be totally vulnerable and unembarrassed. I don't usually focus on gender when talking about what demographics a movie will please, but I think it is worth mentioning that this movie will probably do a little bit better with women. I can tell you as a guy who did enjoy this movie that it is still very watchable for men, but some of the jokes they make just won't be as relatable, specifically because they're sometimes about experiences that are pretty exclusive to women. So Dakota Johnson was pretty decent in this movie. After Madam Web, I personally was not crazy about her as an actress. The main issue with that movie was obviously the terrible dialogue, which we can't really blame Dakota Johnson for since she didn't write it. But bad dialogue aside, I just wasn't crazy about her performance. She felt very stiff and incapable of expressing more than two emotions. She was much better in this movie. She was able to fill the shoes of a character with social anxiety very well. That said, there were still some little things that I wasn't too crazy about, specifically with her ability to cry and express heavy discomfort. She just wasn't always very convincing. She was good for the most part, but this performance does lead me to think that she just doesn't have much range as an actress. I'm just not sure that she's a good person to cast for leading roles. So this movie is on the shorter side. It's only an hour and 26 minutes, but I think that runtime was actually perfect for what this story was. If it were much longer, I think it just would have overstayed its welcome. One could argue that they could have spent more time exploring Lucy's sexuality, but I think the movie did a good job establishing itself as a story about friendship rather than sexual awakening, so I don't think it needed much more. It is a sweet and simple movie. It's nothing revolutionary, but as far as quirky comedies go, I thought it was a fun and witty movie overall. It's pretty good. It's streaming exclusively on Max, and it's definitely worth checking out if you just want to stream something fun and simple, especially if you're watching something with your best friend. But if a comedy that focuses on the dynamic between two female friends doesn't sound like your cup of tea for whatever reason you have, then you're probably not going to like this. Thank you for watching this review. If it brought you any value at all, please give it a like. It really does help this channel grow. I'll see you later this week with my review of Tuesday.